Hello, my followers. I'm going to show you if string has letter and numbers. I would like to see you this by using the function. So we need to write by here function name, dev space, function name, check underscore L underscore N bracket and uh, two dots here. And also uh, we should give a, a value for the function, for instance, x, okay. Let's take two variables, then assign same values to both of them as false. Flag L will be assigned false, and also flag N will be assigned false. Uh, definitely we have to create for loop to check if i is digit if uh, iteration is digit or not and do not forget making parentheses after when you wrote this code So initial value for flag n was false, then we must assign new value to it as true. Flag n will be assigned as true, as I mentioned. And it will check if the string contains numeric characters until break occurs. I mean that break will work once flag n is true, okay? Let's have a look at a second for loop for i in x. The same verification also will be happen for checking if string contains letter after we created the second for loop, okay? If i is alpha, Also, initial flag L, flag L was false, will be assigned true also. Okay. Um, a break function will be started since flag L has been turned from false to true already, okay? At the end, the function returned us values of flag N and flag L. As you know, function needs to take parameter to get started. In this case, we should add parameters, which provides the function with it. Print. Uh, the function name. Take um, P, Y, P1, Y, T, H, O, N, 5, okay? Uh, let's run our code to get a result. Yeah, true. Our code works well. Okay. My dear followers, make sure that if you repeat what I did, you will get the same consequences. If you are interested in learning more about programming and staying up to date on the latest developments in the Teach world, make sure to follow us. See you.